Hi, I'm Lydia and I'm a biomedical scientist at Whiston Hospital. Biomedical scientists like me help to diagnose diseases and provide information to help treat these diseases. We also carry out laboratory tests and use high-tech equipment to analyse patient samples. Now you know a little bit more about what I do, let me show you around and give you an idea of what a day in the life of a biomedical scientist is like. My work can begin before I'm even in the building because the NHS never stops. The team works around the clock. Samples are sent to us every hour at any time of the day and night and we do all we can to turn the results around and share them with medical staff as quickly as possible. Every shift starts with this board. This lets us know where everyone's based. Pathology is split into different areas. Microbiology, blood sciences and cellular pathology. Every day is different. One day I could be reading and reporting urine specimen results, but the next day I could be processing COVID-19 requests. The variety really keeps me on my toes. Today I'm working on the blood culture and cerebrospinal fluid bench. But before I set up, I need to log into my computer to check my emails and access our document management system to check the latest changes in sample processing. This is really important as it's vital we all stay up to date. When blood or CSF samples are taken from patients, they are transferred to culture plates to identify any bacteria that might be the cause of the infection. If a virus is suspected, then we can place the sample onto our biofire machine to detect these. Now I'm going to take the plates out of the incubator and place them into number order. I start with the CSF plates to check for any bacterial growth so I can share the culture results with the consultants on the wards around the hospital. Sharing these results not only helps with treatment and discharge from hospital, but can help us put in place infection control procedures quickly too. I release my final report after 40 hours of incubation. Time for a break. I love working in a fast paced and challenging environment, but I couldn't get through the day without my colleagues. We always make time to check in on each other and have a quick catch up. Next up, it's the blood culture plates. When blood samples are taken from a patient, the sample bottle is monitored for bacterial growth in our lab. This bottle has been flagged as positive for bacteria, so I'm just about to carry out a gram stain. This is a test to see exactly what type of bacteria it is. As soon as I have this information, I report this via our laboratory information management system, LIMS, and release it to the medics so they can make decisions about their patient's care and management. We then need to observe cultures from these positive samples, so I arrange for our associate practitioners to set up a range of agar plates. This way we can test for a range of antibiotics to help the medics decide the best options for treating the patient. But we don't do it alone. We use tools such as Malditoff and Vitec to support our analysis. Sometimes medics ask for additional testing on the sample. So we freeze isolated samples which may need sending to Public Health England for further analysis. On average, we get through thousands of samples a day in the lab, so good time management skills are a must. The blood culture and CSF bench can become very busy, so being able to prioritise my workload is vital. Speaking of which, we've just had an urgent request to process a CSF sample. As well as the culture plates, I'll also need to check on any further positive blood cultures that I'm alerted to and process them throughout the day too. 70% of clinical decisions and diagnosis in the NHS are based upon pathology results. Receiving around 1,000 COVID-19 requests a day, the pandemic has really shone a spotlight on the work of biomedical science. So, although you might not see people like me treating patients face to face, our work has a direct impact on their care. So that's us. Thanks for joining me on a whistle-stop tour of the microbiology department. I hope we've given you an insight into what it is like to be a biomedical scientist and what goes on in our labs. If you think you'd like to become a BMS, find out more on the Institute of Biomedical Science website.